Does this ever happen to you in Illustrator? This happens to me quite a bit. It's kind of a gotcha. And that is when I'm working with pattern fill swatches in Illustrator, and here I have a whole bunch in different color combinations. And these particular fills also have a solid background fill. So on each one of these rectangles, there is a solid color background fill and a pattern fill on top of that all on the same object. This is something you can do in the appearance panel. And the gotcha happens when I'm working on this and I'm like, I want to change the pattern or I want to figure out which pattern fill is applied to this. Cause I have a whole bunch here in my swatches panel. And so you should be able to just click on this and, and see the highlight around the one that you have selected, but it's not showing up there. And the reason is because this is a two part fill. Um, all on the same path. And if I go over here into the appearance panel, we can see there is the lower fill and here is the upper fill, the pattern fill. And so you've got to know which fill you have selected at any given moment. Right now, as we can see, it's blue there. And so I can come back here and I can see that there's the pattern fill that that belongs with this rectangle, I can see it highlighted here. So it seems like crazy that I have to come here and open up the appearance panel and you know, I'm working really fast. I'm trying out a lot of different things and I don't wanna to have to keep going back to the appearance panel. Well, there's a shortcut for this and it's right up here on the top control bar. There's this little triangle with an exclamation point warning that says topmost fill or stroke is not active. Click here to make it active. So when I want that top fill, the pattern fill active, just click on that triangle. And now I can see what pattern fill is attached to it. I can change it to a different one like that and just kind of try out some different options. I kind of like the original there. For every one of these, I can do that. So if I select this and I see that I want to change the solid color, the fill color in the background, that's fine. I can do that just by clicking on any of these little uh, swatches right here. But if I want to change the pattern fill, I can come up here and click on the little exclamation point. And now I'm back to working with the pattern fill. All right. So if you're not familiar with working this way, let me just show you how you create one of these. All right. So let's go off to the side here and just get a rectangle and let's see. It's gonna have a background two-part fill because of the last thing I drew. So let me go ahead and remove that background fill and we're gonna start here with just a solid, that foreground fill and we'll start with a solid fill. Okay, so here we are. Let me go ahead and apply a pattern to this. Selecting it, applying a pattern and there we go. All right, so when you want to add a solid fill behind your pattern fill, all you need to do is go into the appearance panel and then select that fill. And you can see when it's selected, it turns blue. And then just go down here to the bottom and click on the add new fill button. And when you do that, it adds a new fill on top of the first fill. Then we go to the lower one, select it, and then we can come in here and add a different background. And oh my goodness, I didn't have that selected so I didn't add it in the first place. This also gets me, that's another gotcha that gets me a lot. Talking and I don't have the thing selected. Oh, all right, so here we go. Lower fill and now I can add a background color. So why would you work this way? Well, if you work in pattern editing mode, then you know that the more complex your patterns get, the more you can have issues with overlap. So let's go ahead and just check that out with this particular pattern. Now I, I'm selecting it and I can't see which one it is here to even go and change it. Uh, now at least I know I can go and click on the little triangle and there it is. All right, good. Now I'm deselecting and I'm gonna double click on this fill to come into pattern editing mode and edit it. Now this particular pattern doesn't have a lot of interlocking stuff, but very often uh, they do. And if you put a solid fill behind here, now that's a pattern fill, I've got to change this. If you throw that in the background here, 
um, your solid fill, your solid rectangle there is going to start overlapping parts of your art. As you can see, as I drag this over here, even if I make it exactly the right size of the tile, stuff is going to get cut off here. Now you do have overlap buttons here, so you can change the direction of the overlap, but it only works so far. You know, you might fix the problem in one place, but it opens up in another place. So adding solid background fills inside of pattern editing mode is really not the best way to work. I mean, you can do it with certain patterns, but a lot of times I just recommend working on an empty background like this and then I'm just going to cancel out of here because I didn't make any changes that I want to save. So I'll hit cancel and go back to this. You know, now if you use a two part fill then or a layered up fill, then you can um, have a lot easier time. You don't have those overlap issues and just selecting and working with the, the background color is a lot easier. So if I come over here into the appearance panel, I can see selecting my two different fills here and then I can come in and change the background however I want, like that. All right, so I hope this has been a helpful tip. And now if that gotcha getcha, you, you can always just, why did I say that? Uh, you can always just click on this little triangle here and uh, take care of that. Then you have your topmost fill selected. All right, I'm Laura Coyle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. I publish tutorials all about Illustrator, Illustrator on the iPad, and other Adobe programs. And you can also find my website at lauracoilcreative.com. All right, thank you for watching.